Maybe one of the greatest things for me about wine is it connects people. We spend lots of our time in vineyards and we know lots of great people that like to drink the stuff. So today I've got my good friend Jason Gogo in town. Part of what we like to do here, we have lots of technical tastings and things, but we need something on the walls. So when we've got an artist like Jason in town, it's a privilege to have his art up. And uh, today we're so looking at some of his newest pieces. Well, you know, art, there's basically only three reasons why people buy art. One is they have an emotional connection to it, and they just love it. Number two, it's a well-known artist, Picasso, or Chagall, or Kuhn. Number three, it's kind of like hype. This artist is up and coming, and people qualify that artist, and so it becomes that. And those are really sort of, wine is very similar. You know this vineyard. You love the flavor of this. But there's a little hype behind this. This is up and coming. They're doing something different. And so it's, they're, they're almost identical in the reasons that people appreciate them so much. And for me personally, I don't go to an art show to see something I've seen. I go to an art show to see something I haven't seen. And that's what I love about 100 Wines. You come here to taste something you haven't tasted. The beauty of it is it's a little bit more of going beyond expectations as a consumer. You're not just going into a store to buy something, you're going somewhere to experience something. I mean, that's the same with art, it's the same with everything, so yeah. <laughs> cheers.